Hey guys, what is up? It is DOS. Today we are doing a video on Vault Warden. This is an alternative server implementation of Bitwarden. It's compatible with all official Bitwarden clients, perfect for being self-hosted. Today we are showing you how to get this set up for yourself from start to finish. The GitHub of Vault Warden will be in the description below, so make sure you guys go check that out, and I will see you guys in the terminal. Once we are in our terminal, we are going to want to update our server. So we're going to type in apt space update, and then we're going to apt space upgrade space dash y. Once that is done, we are going to need to install Docker. So let's go ahead and go to our web browser and type in Docker engine install, and then what distribution you're using. So we're using Ubuntu. We're going to click on that first link. Scroll down a little bit, copy the repository command, paste that in and press enter. And we're just going to let that finish. Once that is done, we're going to go back to our browser, scroll down just a little bit, copy the install command, paste that in there and press enter. Should ask us if we want to continue. We're going to type in Y enter and let that finish. Once that is done, we are going to go ahead and make a folder. So MKDIR space, we're going to type in vault warden. We're going to go ahead and CD into that change directories. And then we're going to do vim. You can use nano if you prefer nano vim docker dash compose dot yml. Now, again, like all my videos, the exact docker compose that we are using will be in my discord in the description below. So make sure you guys go check that out. I'm going to go ahead and copy that, paste that in there, escape colon WQ for write and quit. Now we're going to cut out that docker compose because as you can see, we are going to need a few environment variables. So to add those, we're going to do vim space dot emv we're going to do admin underscore token equals test zero 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 and then domain equals vault dot our domain make sure you guys use your domain and i actually do believe you need to put https here escape colon wq now obviously we are going to want to make that admin token a little bit more secure i'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and do that but we will need to start the container first to be able to get to where we want so we're going to do docker space compose space up space dash d to run in the background press enter it's going to go ahead and pull that vault warden image and start container then we're going to go ahead and run a command so we're going to do docker space exec dash space dash it space the name of our container which is vault warden and we're going to do forward slash vault warden space hash we're going to press enter and that's going to allow us to generate a admin token so we're going to type in a secure password and then it'll go ahead and generate this for us so let's go ahead and copy that let's go ahead and take down our container by doing docker compose space down vim into that dot emv file and then we're just going to delete that first line and then paste in that item we copied colon wq to save and quit and then we're going to start our container again with docker space compose space up space dash d press enter and now that container is up and running so now that is pretty much it all we have to do now is open up a browser go to a new tab and then type in that domain now mind you i am using a reverse proxy to handle the ssl termination i am using nginx proxy manager if you guys need to know how to set this up i do have a video on it explaining how to set up nginx proxy manager so make sure you guys go check that out but once you have all that set up go ahead and press enter and it should bring us to the vault warden page Page, just like that. So we are going to want to create an account. The email address is going to be DOS at our domain. And then our name is, you know, we're just going to put in our first name here. Let's go and click continue. We're going to need a master password. Make sure you guys set this to something very secure. And then let's go and click create account. Once that's created, you're in, you now have Vault Warden fully running. So you can add a new item. You can add username, passwords. You can do uh, authenticator keys. So like 2FA codes, you can add the website and then you can add the official Bitwarden browser extension. You can download the Bitwarden app. You can do all of that and it'll work perfectly. It is compatible with their API. And that is pretty much it. If you guys wanna be able to access that admin page, just change this to forward slash admin. It'll take us to that. Make sure you guys type in that password that you put in with the command. And then it'll take you to this. And as you can see, we have our user account here. You can delete them, disable them, or deauthorize all their sessions. That is pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy, please let me know. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments. Comments. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you guys go check out the Discord again. All the Docker Compose files are there for every single video I have uploaded, and I will catch you guys in the next one.